in 2004, uh, I applied for the slavery and freedom in Charleston, South Carolina. So I attended that one and that, that began my love for the NEH programs. I attended eight more after that. I did get the initial uh, flyer. Uh, so this is back 20 years ago. And I applied to, I think, 10 or 12 of them. It was just so unbelievable that, first of all, that you could get together with a group of other educators. Uh, second, that they would actually give you a stipend to compensate you somewhat for your travel. And the places that were selected were just just phenomenal. I was lucky enough to to find the NEH in my first year of teaching. I really didn't understand yet what the NEH was about. Uh, I just thought, wow, people are being paid to go learn something new in the summer. And that was very appealing to me. It wasn't until my third try when I went out to New Mexico to contested homelands that I truly understood what it was, a little more of what it was the NEH was doing, how important place is a geopolitical space to bring together a whole bunch of dynamic communities that fight for things and and celebrate things and abandon things and war over things. I am super lucky because I've been able to do three NEH programs. The first one I did was at Virginia Commonwealth University to study uh, the Brown versus Board of Education. And then I was in Little Tokyo to study the Japanese American experience. And then I was also at Wing Luke Museum last summer in Seattle. And the common thread that I found through all three of those is learning about uh, things that have happened in history at those landmarks from people who live there. Uh, and the first person historical narratives were just amazing. To be able to sit in the room with someone who's in their 90s uh, who was a key player in things that have shaped our cities and states and our country is uh, something that has just made a lasting impression on me. I remember going to the store in Money, Mississippi. I remember going to the courthouse in Sumner. And I remember, you know, going to Paul Monkey's, right? The the juke joint right out in the, in the woods. I mean, just amazing. Um, you know, and some of the things that I, like I said, I'd heard about before, um, but to, to see it in living color um, in front of me was like took the learning to a whole new level, like left such an indelible mark on me. One in civil rights movement, uh, the one in Birmingham, Alabama called Stony the Road. Uh, I was able to meet Fred Shuttlesworth, who was an early civil rights leader in Birmingham, and also Fred Gray, who was Rosa Parks attorney. And that made such an influence uh, on me as, as an opportunity to meet these people, hear them speak about the times they lived in. So to take that living history back to the classroom was amazing. It's one thing to have people who are familiar with topics or familiar with places come and tell you about it, but it's quite another to have people who live in the space um, who are surrounded by it, who, you know, this is a part of who they are. They they are, it's a part of their identity to come and share that with you. It's it's definitely a different feeling. For me, it was going to the place where the history happened or influenced by the history uh, and meeting people in the area, meeting teachers from across the country, uh, getting ideas from them, learning from them and sharing experiences and uh, working on lessons, and I would bring that energy and passion back to my classroom. I come back and people will say, why do you spend your summer doing those things? And I said, well, it refreshes me uh, to make a better environment in my classroom. I keep coming back to NEH, um, and, and I'm thinking about all the places that I've gone, all the places that I've named, um, because they dig deeper into a history that I never knew or only knew at a surface level. Um, and I walk away feeling so much more enriched by having had that experience. Um, not just having been there in a place, but being able to, um, you know, walk the steps and hear from folks who lived there um, and process it all. It's just been a wonderful 
opportunity.